so flying in a hurricane is uh, it's kind of like I equate it to kind of riding a really rough roller coaster. Um, a lot of bumps, a lot of ups and downs. The duration of the flights can really vary. Uh, sometimes it might only be seven or eight hours. Um, other times we'll fly uh, 10, almost 11 hours uh, in a flight. It really depends on the nature of the mission, uh, where the storm is at, and what we're going to do. The major purpose of the mission is to collect information that can be used right away. Now, the secondary part is to collect data that we can then analyze and spend more time understanding what we actually did and what we saw after the mission. This instrument weighs about a pound. It's a uh, remote weather station. It falls down on a parachute from the airplane. And as it falls down, instruments in this are telling us pressure, temperature, humidity, and it uses GPS to get horizontal wind direction and wind speed uh, every quarter of a second to every half a second as it drops down on a parachute. It leaves the airplane. It goes down through the highest winds or the lowest pressure or any other weather conditions you want to drop it in. Hits the water, sinks, it's gone. But the the really valuable data has been transmitted back to the airplane and that data can be sent immediately to the hurricane center for things like the highest winds near the surface and the lowest pressure in the center. Es importante que volemos dentro de los huracanes porque no toda la información y la data que se requiere para los modelos meteorológicos eh, se puede adquirir vía satélite. Eh, tiene que haber alguna manera de soltar algún tipo de sonda, un instrumento meteorológico para poder eh, tener la información adecuada para eh, los modelos. Once we head into the storm environment, we start collecting all of our data. Uh, we have many instruments on the plane um, from instruments that collect precipitation data called radar to uh, instruments that collect pressure, temperature, humidity, uh, wind speed, wind direction, all kinds of things, uh, probably over 30 instruments on the plane. We can have waves uh, greater than a five and six story building sometimes below us. We're talking waves 50, 60 feet high many times in a very intense hurricane. My most memorable flight is probably Hurricane Katrina. I hate to use the word, but the beauty uh, of the storm once you're inside of it, just the way the, the eye looked, how big it was, how, how stable and how powerful it was, it was, a, it was a very memorable storm to fly into.